Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to the Polar Bear Apocalypse, where we will shortly be declaring war on Norway. We just want to fabricate one more claim and then get started on the next one. Uh, actually, I would like to check the coalition map mode. So yeah, Poland obviously hates us, but they won't for that much longer, really. They'll be under 50 soon. Lithuania, that'll take longer. Um, yeah, these guys <laughs> are still very unhappy with uh, my land grabs. Genoa, because I land grabbed them. Actually, that's interesting. Yeah, so taking all that Genovese land must have given us aggressive expansion with some of these Italians. But uh, as long as they don't hit minus 50, we're good. And these guys, um, I mean, we don't have treaties, but um, I think they are just too scared of us to... Uh, What was I trying to say? Lost in thought here. Too scared of us to start a coalition. Uh, can't quite decide here. Conquer problems is from Lithuania. So that is where we got that huge amount of power projection. That's good. So we're getting a plus one, plus one, plus one for all of our uh, monarch points. I mean, it's good to eclipse people. So eclipse Great Britain, that was worth plus six. I guess we'll just keep going for that. Keep trying to eclipse Great Britain again and again and again. Farm that uh, power projection. Yeah, we're capped out on piety, but that's fine. Conversion. Uh, we're about to get another missionary, too, so that'll be good. Alright, we have eclipsed them again, so that was worth plus six a second ago. Now it is worth 16. Yeah, so uh, I'm good with that. It's pro it probably has a lot to do with our armies reinforcing, I would bet. Um, Poland is the one that we're more likely to keep laying into in the relatively near future, because we want to finish off this Black Sea coast, not for any specific reason, really. Oh, you know what? What, what did you used to be down here? Circassia, I guess? Yeah. But somehow it's all Russian now. Well, we're going to fight Russia eventually. Uh, Golden Horde still holding on with two provinces. Ryazan, I wish they would disappear. We've been at war with them a few times. Uh, yeah, keep the clock ticking. We're just pretty much waiting um, to declare war on Norway. Let's uh, move to the Sea of Azov with our transport fleet. We can fit four of these 40 stacks. One, two, three, four... Okay, and then we'll send them how long is that going to take 9th of April yes I think that will be okay I mean we obviously don't need that many 40 sacks though for this uh, invasion alright instead let's go to the Irish Sea oh I have these fortresses that I have no need of uh, I'm okay with having this one. It means that they can't cross into Ireland, but let's at least upgrade the castle. And you will get to see of... Uh, okay, 22nd of February. New technology, Diplotech. Alright, we are behind time on that. Nothing particularly uh, amazing there. Okay, Great Britain is again a rival of ours, somehow. Uh, we're super ahead of time on military tech, but we don't have that many points, so that's all right. Uh, our focus should be on admin, I think. Yes, national focus is on admin. Uh, but working on an idea group, so it's okay that we're a bit ahead of time. And in fact, here's our second mercenary, or not mercenary, missionary. All right, we are just about ready to uh, pop these armies off the fleet. Finished a colony there. That's all right. I'm looking forward to the new colonial mechanics in 1.14. You can choose just to never have native uprisings, and that's fine. That can be your policy. Uh, you'll grow more slowly, but... Uh, 
I think that that's probably what I'm always going to do. Just less babysitting, less micro. All right. Uh, how do we only have three armies on this boat? I... Okay, not sure what happened there. Well, it was already way more than we needed. Um, we'll let them sit there for a moment. We just need to start fabricating our next claim. Okay, those guys are all healed up, so let's grab two stacks. Stick them right back on the boat. Take you to our friendly territory. So where do we take attrition? We shouldn't be taking attrition anywhere. All of this is within supply ship reach, so I'm not sure why uh, they took some damage. I don't think I went into any open ocean tiles. Also, I have been paying attention over here, but uh, you guys are in perfect shape. Good. Uh, let's get you guys back to the mainland. Because I haven't solved it. Of course I have. Ah, wait, uh, we just finished fabricating the claim, so start that one. You are not yet in position, you'll be there 5th of July. So in the meantime, we'll put you on rebel suppression. I wonder if that means that they'll walk all the way down to, like, Mexico or even Colombia. Well, Hansa is uh, definitely getting their way here. Okay, we're just about ready to declare war. Actually, who are you? Uh, okay, Finland. And, oh, yeah, that's right. We don't care about Finland or the Livonia Order. So this gives us 75% aggressive expansion. Yeah, so... I, I knew that this was the case, but yes, this is unambiguously better. It's just always good to uh, double-check the numbers. And the claims that we fabricated will still help us. Actually, they just have no forts, except for their capital fort. Do you have more territory that I don't... Oh, of course, there's Iceland, yeah. I guess we can't march over Sweden. We You will give us access, though. We just... Uh, need a moment to get a diplomat. May as well stay in 20 stacks. They have so little land. Alright, here we go. Now we can get military access. Because they are terrified of us. Well, they're practically finished off. Um, we just have to siege up three, or rather start sieges on three more provinces. So we'll um, send you to the fleet. So this is the second fleet. Let's uh, allow... Actually, no, not armies of allies. Here we go. No, that's not right either. What am I looking for? There, unable automatic transportation. Ah, it's taking a long time for those uh, movements. So you are the second fleet. So will this work? You do the second fleet. I've confirmed it is the same fleet. I'm 
May as well move you back to friendly territory. I would love to 100% Norway in this war. That is within supply ship reach, no ocean tiles or anything. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to hit Finland and the uh, Livonian order to get them out of the war. Unless I want to sit for five years and just wait. Which I don't want to do, so... Uh... No, I don't need to get any more stacks than I already have. Um, I'll actually send you down here, then. Now it's time to go to the Gulf of Finland. Although I could actually go to the Gulf of Riga and then just drop straight onto Leafland. That's probably the superior thing to do. Fort level 1 capital fort versus a level 4 fort. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Um, I guess... I'll land with two armies in this territory, because Finland is only four provinces. Here we can get stability cost modifier. Well, we'll sit on that for a little bit. Because we're not boosting his ability right now anyway. Alright, you guys ready to peace? Nope. Well, once your capitals fall, you'll change your tunes. Russia is attacking Sweden, I see. Russian purge of Lithuanian heresy. Okay, so they're not actually expanding into uh, Sweden. Sweden is just getting in their way. Lost a general. That's not too big of an issue. Let's go for speed siege ability, obviously. Peace offer from Norway. No, we're still waiting for this. Nope, they didn't fall. have a bunch of free diplomats. I should be fabricating claims. I mean, I don't need to be anymore now that we have um, Deus Volt. But I guess it's still useful, right? Maybe not. Maybe it's just generating unnecessary aggressive expansion. You should be ready to peace out now. Yes, you are. Uh, I guess we could have wrecked their fleet, but that's okay. So now, especially with change in the strength of alliance, you should be more likely to want to peace out. Check that again. Yes, now you're ready. And uh, it actually says 99% for Norway for some reason. Oh, Lapland got unsieged. And I have no diplomats to send. Uh... That's great. Let's let our armies get on there. First of July. Oh no. I should have been thinking about that. Well, I just lost all these stacks. You know, let's just scuttle this. I'm not going to try to... Um... So that means we have no fleet now, huh? That's an incredible... Mistake. Well, we'll rebuild. And they will be better ships. 
because we have advanced in tech quite a bit. And uh, what are we getting in our next tech? Okay, new galley. I wasn't really going to build galleys at this point of the game. Level 19 for the next ship. And it might be a bit long to wait. Let's actually get rid of these guys too then. Uh, no, not before doing the peace deal. Ah, just, there we go. <laughs> Highest is 28 aggressive expansion. Yeah, most people just do not care. Take all your money, and uh, yeah, that's really all that I can take from you. So it's all accepted culture, which is nice. And it costs nothing to core. Alright, we can take this. Church Ascendance Duty. So now we're making gobs of cash because we just lost so many soldiers. Um, let's... So that was... 120 soldiers. 120 regiments that we just lost. Let's... Um, I did say I was eventually going to change this template, but I don't know that I want to bother with that. Let's just say a 40 stack to simplify recruiting um, large numbers of troops. We'll stick one down in extreme southern India. And we'll stick... Uh, another one over here. And I guess we'll stick one up here. Just to spread out the training. Also like to do some ships. Well, they're all making soldiers there. So I guess we'll say 10 and 10. And then we'll do transports a little later. Actually, what I should do is... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Shipyard is separate from dock. Okay. Yeah, let's get shipyards in, like, all of these. You have a shipyard, you have a shipyard, you have a shipyard, 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 shipyard. And these as well, let's get rid of the castle. I think it's just about time to end this episode, but I'm going to finish making sure that we have shipyards in all of these provinces, because this will be our shipbuilding heartland. This is all accepted culture up here. All right. Um, yeah, that'll be it for this one. Good night, sleep tight, and let the bears continue to bite. Bye-bye.